welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be using my wooden topped model ones gel polishes to create a set of summer mm, pastel gel polish nails that's what i'm going to call them so to start with i've got mirandi uh, i was gonna say pink mirandi nude this one's really nice but unfortunately you're not going to see a lot of this on the set i thought we were going to see a little bit more of it but actually we don't so to begin with we're going to apply i think hang on we'll find out in a minute i think i only apply one coat of this to the nail that's going to be cured for 30 seconds yep yeah, just one coat right so the colors we've got are esmeralda 50 degrees fahrenheit puppy love blue raspberry and what's this one bumbaya and Africa White. If you don't have Africa White, they do do another white called Edelweiss. It's just that Africa White was the first one I picked out my drawer. They're both very similar. What we're going to do is we're going to do marbles. Oh, I just love me a marble. I'm going to use each of the colours on the palette apart from the Mirandi Nude because that's just going to be the colour on the base. Just like if we make any, if there's any gaps or anything, then the Mirandi Nude will show through. That's all it is. I mean, you could use, you could use a white base. It's entirely up to you. I just thought, normally I'd use a white base, but I thought I'd be different and use a nude. So each and, each and every colour that I want to use in my marble is going on a little line on my palette. And then I'm going to use a, this is what the brush that I use. It's the Born Pretty ombre brush i'll just use that to scoop up the color when i do marble i like to put a layer of if you've got a blooming gel i'd use a blooming gel or if you don't have a blooming gel you can use a layer of like a thin layer of base coat or i mean even top coat just a clear gel a clear gel that you can yeah it's just basically all it's going to do is help the colors disperse so i'm just making sure i cover the whole nail a nice thin coat it doesn't have to be thick and then using the brush, we're going to scoop the colours up from the palette and we're just going to gently sort of almost float them over. You don't really want to, don't really brush them on, more float them on. And you can put as much or as little as you want. You can have like a marble going through the centre of the nail. Um, I kind of like to, it depends how I feel. On this one, I pretty much filled the whole nail. And then you can just leave it for a little bit because that base coat will help it kind of disperse and then pop it in the lamp. I've done two marbles. I had lots of lots of gel polish left on my palette. So instead of wasting it, I thought I would do another marble nail because I just I love a marble. You you know this by now. You're going to be like, for God's sakes, all she does is marble. But it's, you know what? It's it looks it looks nice and it's always different depending on what colours you use. And you never get one marble the same which I quite like. So anyway, I'm using Esmeralda and Puppy Love. I think that's what these ones are called. We're going to do one nail of each of these. So this is the first coat. I was just had to, there was a little bit of fluff on that one, so I had to pick it out. There we go. They're going to go in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And then we can apply our second coat. Just, yeah, they don't have to be thick coats, just thin coats are fine. Just make sure that you cover the whole nail, obviously. Sometimes I miss the sidewall. When I'm doing... These tips that I'm using are quite curved. So I have to make sure that I get all the way down towards the... You know, down the sidewalls. Because uh, sometimes I do miss them. And then once they are done, they will go in the lamp for a 30 second cure. Okay, so this is where we are now. I am going to put some glitter on this one so i'm putting base coat on this nail because i'm going to put the the glitter is going to go into the base coat so i've just put a little bit of base coat on my nail i was like uh, on my brush sorry i was i was trying to do this all delicately to start with and then i was like sod it let's just throw it all on so i do get my pot because i was like oh, this is gonna take forever just like sprinkle it on and then i just wanted to make sure that I had a nice even, like the, the neon-y bits of glitter were kind of nicely spread out across the nail. Because at the moment they all kind of seem to be stuck up the top. So I just have a little fiddle around. And then, I mean, that's, I think that's good enough. And then I've cured it in the lamp. Now, because it's, because I pretty, I've, because I sugared it, 
it's going to be really lumpy bumpy so what i'm going to do here is i've got my base coat again and i'm just putting a nice actually quite a big coat a base coat on and then i'm going to just wipe that tacky layer off the base coat and i'm just going to give it a file so that any sticky uppy bits will be gone because i don't like oh god there's nothing worse than rough bits on your nails god i hate that so that's all nice and smooth now so now we're going to come to top coat and i decided to use the shiny top coat and the matte top coat again right these top coats you get in a set you get the matte top coat you get the shiny top coat and you get the base coat in a set <clears throat> i think you might be able to buy them separately but the ones i had came in a set so i'm putting i decided to do the glitter nail shiny obviously because it's glitter and i was going to do one of the marbles shiny and then the other two and then one marble matte and then this pink one's going to be matte because i'm going to put some crystals on but i ended up having both the marbles matted i went over it with max i was like no i want it matte so they're all going to be matte apart from the glittery nail which is going to be shiny but i mean even the glittery nail you could do shiny because it's like an iridescent mix it would look really nice matted but not today today i'm going with shiny because I, I do matte a lot right and now oh my gosh i'm using the brand new crystals from nail sugar this is the ab flame mix so in this mix there's a little there's a new crystal boutique section on the website um in this mix you get the ab flames and you get a ton of round flat back ab crystals in different sizes they range from i think it's size ss4 to ss12 look how beautiful they are and these are affordable range crystals okay so they're not going to break the bank these are kind of going to be more for people that i suppose are they like to put a little bit of sparkle on but they're not big in they're not i don't know actually no it doesn't matter they could be for anyone sharp now so i'm just waffling now um right so i've got some gem glue and i've just put my flame in the center there now if i don't know what to do if i don't know what kind of crystal placement to do if i don't want to do anything too fussy i will do a kind of necklace design so i mean these are like the easiest and they always always look really nice what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the bigger round crystals at the top and then they're going to taper down towards that flame and that flame crystal is basically going to be like it could be like the pendant part of the necklace i mean it doesn't matter it doesn't even have to be you know you don't have to call it a necklace necklace it's just i call it a necklace because that is it's just what it looks like isn't it so you can see as i get down towards the bigger crystal and i'm making sure that the crystals on each side are the same size it took me a little while to find them because they're all mixed up but there we go i'm gonna i'm gonna do that if you want to leave it like that you can i am gonna grab some of these little silver caviar beads i'm just gonna sprinkle a few out onto my paper towel and then what i'm gonna do is where i've got a lot of gem glue that's sort of leaking out I'm just going to place a couple of crystals into that gem glue. Okay, and then I will cure that. And then it saves me having to put extra gem glue on in a minute. Because if you cure it, if you cured it without putting the, the beads in, you're going to have to put some more gem glue on. And the beads aren't going to sit flush to the crystals and it's going to start to look all bulky so what i'm going to do now is i am applying the gem glue with this old little detailer brush that i've got now i like to use this instead of a like the end of a crystal picker rubber tool because i find i can be a lot more precise with that and then i've put the beads in and then this is the finished set <laughs> I clearly I didn't want to show you that. So there we go. I hope you like this. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I do have a 10% off code for nail sugar. It's NatMug10. My 15% off code for model ones is Natalie00. But that will be down in the description box. Um, if you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. It is completely free. I don't know if I've said that already. But anyway, I love you all lots. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Love you all. Bye.